Hey, what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a little bit since my last video. I've been a little busy, but with that being said, I did want to get this video out there as I did promise it in my first Minecraft video. And I had a few others reach out to me asking about how I would automate the process of starting up the Minecraft server. And pretty much if, uh, if the server went down, how would I bring it back up again? Um, just to verify it's running and stuff like that. So today's video is going to be very quick. I'm just going to cover two scripts that I had created in Bash. It's nothing crazy. Um, and then I'll also talk about how I automate that process using cron jobs. All right, so the first script that we're going to cover is going to be the status check. So this script is pretty much what is ran every five minutes uh, that I have it set up. You could have it set at any interval that you would like using cron jobs, which I will discuss at the end of this video. Um, but pretty much, I'm not going to cover the bash and, and how that all works, but pretty much this is the script. It's very simple. Uh, you could disregard the first line. Um, so we're going to use this built-in function called pgrep. Essentially, it's going to look for a process inside of um, that's running a current running process, and then you, we're going to specify that name. Uh, this is going to vary from one server to the next. So depending on what you have, you would have to uh, adjust, obviously, as necessary. Um, then you go down here, and then we're going to set this variable res. I just made it up result res whatever and you're going to put uh the dollar sign in the question mark so pretty much that's going to assign a number one or a number zero depending on if the process exists or if it does not exist uh, which is where pgrep comes in and then here as you can see if it says if result equals one then run this uh tmux command if it is zero then nothing. We don't need to do anything because the server is already up and running. And just to further explain what exactly I meant by the pgrep and this uh, variable, we're going to go ahead and just go back to the terminal. I'm going to cat that. So let's say if we were to run it manually, so let's copy this command right here. Let's paste that. So right now we're saying that this process does exist. This is what pgrep does. It will, if this does not exist, then we will get nothing. It will be blank. And then if we were to echo, that would be 1. So that's saying that this process does not exist, and then we're going to assign that variable to 1, and then that if uh, statement will run. Whereas if we did the first one that did exist, and then we ran that again, now we can see it's 0, right? Before we go on to the next script, I did want to just reiterate that this um, bash script would vary from one server to the next, obviously. So you might not even be running tmux. Uh, tmux I use so I could pretty much put the process to the background and not have to have it always up and running. So if I were to X out of any terminal or anything like that, uh, the process will still continue to um, run. Um, but yeah, so you would just put the command here to pretty much execute it. You could change it to the directory up here, or you could just manually uh, set the full path right here. So the next script that we are going to cover is going to be the, um, I call it the restart, but it's not necessarily for restart anymore. It's more or less, I use it for backing up uh, my server. So every time that I have this cron job set, it will run this script. So from starting from the top and working our way down, you can skip this one. So right here, we got tmux, send keys, stop, enter, and, and dot log. So essentially what's going on here is that it's going to send the stop. Um, it's just going to type out stop and send it to the tmux terminal that is currently running. And in turn, will end the server. It will turn off the Minecraft server. At that point, we set a variable for time. We're going to let it sleep for 10 seconds, allowing it to stop and not having to uh, make a backup while the server is running just to make sure that it's completely shut down. Then we're going to use the tar command with the following parameters. And then pretty much we're just going to create a backup of the entire directory. That's what I do. You can do whatever you would like, maybe just the world file or whatever the case may be. Um, but this would be what you want it to be, like the file name. As you can see, here's the, the time variable that we assigned to that file name with the TGZ. And then this is the directory that we are going to um, back up. I have it in document servers, Minecraft update, um, but you could have it right, So after that, uh, then at the bottom, the last thing that we're going to run, we're pretty much just going to start a new server or a new Minecraft session just by running the tmux. 
command and we're gonna say new session then we're gonna name the session and then this is the um since we're in that directory this is the jar file that we're gonna go ahead and execute and i did forget to say this earlier um if it is not already clear so this is where you're going to place the backup as well so this is a full path to the directory that the the backup will be created uh, so i have it inside of the document servers minecraft update and then inside of there i have another folder called backups and then inside of there is where this file will be created which is the backup that we found here all right and the last thing that we need to cover is going to be the cron jobs so we'll just go ahead and back out of here so if we go to cron tab dash e i should slow down so cron tab dash e this is going to be the cron jobs for this specific user um and then in here this is going to be looking a little bit different i have it set up of uh, pushing through ansible which is an automated process that pushes all my or all my servers and uh, when I set up this new VM I had used Ansible this time so my configuration will look a little bit different than yours at the top of yours you will have a good explanation as to how it should look and on how to assign the different times so this first one uh, these are the times right here there are some resources online that could be used I also post it in the description below if I remember um, but there are some resources online that break this down and pretty much calculate it for you if you were confused on exactly what to put here. But pretty much I have this script running on every, uh, I think it's like Sunday here at 1. Um, but here, so you got bash. And then this is the command or the um, what we want to execute. So the file that we want to execute and this is the bash file. So you just want to provide the full path. Uh, you don't have to worry about the second half. The second half is useful though. If you were running into any troubles, you could go ahead and place this and this will um, pretty much, I'm not going to get too much into detail here, but instead of a standard output, it will pretty much output the error into this uh, file that I had created, cron.log inside of the server's directory. Uh, the same thing down here. So I have this script running every five minutes of every day, of every week, of every whatever. Uh, as you can see here and this is the status check so this is when if the server were to come up and run or like shut down and then come back up and run again uh, every five minutes this script will be running so you don't have to go go ahead and manually uh, start the minecraft server so anytime the server shuts down as long as you turn it back on this script will run and you'll be good to go All right, guys, so that's going to be the video for today. I hope I covered that with uh, enough detail to at least get the job done on your own server. I know it was quick. Um, I didn't want to cover how to create the bash or anything like that. Maybe in a future video, I go over uh, the bash scripting and stuff like that. Um, but I did go cover the two scripts that I use on my server, and I covered the cron jobs, which is exactly what I wanted to cover. If you guys have any questions, as always, please post it in the comments below. As we did on the last video, I tried to answer every single question. Um, but with that being said, as always, never stop learning.